this is Captain Chaudhary. In my last lecture, I was talking about index stability criteria. Right? The criteria which are required to be satisfied while the ship is uh, undertaking a voyage. Right? So uh, please note that uh, satisfaction of index stability criteria should be confirmed at the departure and arrival, and one can also check whether the index stability criteria are satisfied for intermediate crucial condition if it arises right so uh, today i'm going to do a simple example to uh, do the calculations in respect of you know uh, confirming that the index stability criteria are satisfied so there is this scale curve which is given in your stability book right loading and stability manual as it is called so in the stability book the can values can be found out for the displacement the displacement of the ship it can be entered with the displacement and uh, just for your information let's draw a quick drawing understanding what is kn right? the ship's buoyancy moves parallel to the wedges right from b to b1 and here is an up thrust this was the writing lever this is the gz but if you continue till the keel and extend this line vertically downwards then this particular side of the triangle is called kn this kn values are available for different displacement now kn is not gz so what we do is from the kn we subtract this suppose this is kp so what is kp equal to kp is nothing but kg sin theta here you have theta the angle of inclination same angle over here so kp is kg sin theta so, so what we do is we pick up the kn values from the kn curves and from that we subtract kg sin theta to get the writing lever and this is how the writing lever curve is made so uh, let's draw the gz curve this is the heel x axis and this is the writing lever gz let's say this is the gz curve and 0 5 degrees 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 and so on now this is the writing lever uh, y axis represents the writing lever and let this be point 0 0.05 this is point 0.1 point 0.1 point 1.15 point 0.2 point 0.25 point 0.3 Point three five, and so on. Now let's make the table for the calculations, right? So the first thing that would be written is theta, and theta means the various angles like five degrees, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, and forty degrees. sin theta we need to write down the sine function of all these angles sine 5 sine 10 sine 15 sine 20 just to save time i will not write down the values but kn you need to pick up from the tables we write down the kn values from the tables now uh, kg of the ship plus free surface correction will give me kg fluid now free surface effect has got tendency to lift the g uh, raise the uh, level of g when the g goes upwards the kg increases that's why i have put positive over here so minus kg fluid sine theta would give me the writing lever writing lever 0 at 0 at 5 degrees let it be point zero six. at 10 degrees let it be 1.6 at 15 degrees looks like 0 
at 20 degrees 0.29 at 25 degrees it's 0.34 and 30 degrees is 0.37 and at 35 degrees it is 0.36 and say at 40 degrees it is 0.28. So uh, these are the values I've picked up from the table just to save the time. We uh, have to understand how the calculations are done. So I hope this is clear that we write down the ordinates. We write down the ordinates for 0 to 40 degrees. Ordinates that are picked up from the table are Kn. Kn minus kg fluid sine theta gives you right in liver and the values are like this. That means this curve that is drawn is in conformance with these values. Area under the curve, uh, we will have to find out by Simpsons and Simpsons that like you have to find out the area up to 30 degrees, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 ordinates and 6 segments. So the multipliers are going to be 1, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 1, right? Over here, I have the product, so 0, 0 0.24, 3.2, 1, 0 0.58, 1.36, 0 0.37. The total sum of these products, let it be called S1. The uniform interval from 0 to 30 degrees we have taken is 5 degrees. In radian it will be 5 divided by 50, 7.3. First rule applies, so area under the curve will be 1 upon 3 into the uniform interval that is 5 degrees upon 57.3 into sum 1. Let's find out the total of the products, so 0 plus 0.24 plus 3.2 plus 1 plus point. 5, 8 plus 1.36 plus 0.37 it gives me 6.75. So uh, 1 upon 3 into 5 degrees divided by 57.3 into 6.75. That gives me 6.75 into 5 equals divided by 57.3 divided by 3 gives me 0.196 so uh, putting it in the table the area up to 30 degrees the requirement is 0 0.055 meter radian and obtained is 0.196 meter radians. So what is the remark? Remark it is the criteria is satisfied. Now we also want to find out what is the area between 30 degrees and 40 degrees. We have the ordinates here the value of gz is 0 0.37, 0 0.36 and 0.28 the multipliers would be 141 and therefore the products of the ordinate and multiplier are 0 0.37, 1.44 and 0.28 the total is 0 0.37 plus 1.44 plus 0.28 gives me 2.09 once again the separation is by 5 degrees so total area will be 1 upon 3 into 5 divided by 57.3 common multiplier into 2.09 
so uh, that is 5 into 2.09 equals divided by 57.3 what I get is 0 0.061 meter radian. So uh, area up to 40 degrees which is smaller of 40 and angle of flooding is uh, uh, 0 0.061 meter radian and the requirement is 0 0.03 meter radian. So this criteria is also satisfied. Now the area requirement up to 40 degrees what we have got is 0.196 plus 0.061 the total is 7.257 so area up to 40 degrees uh, there is a correction area from 30 to 40 is 0 0.061 what is required is 0 0.03 meter meter radian. Area up to 40 degrees is the requirement is 0 0.09 meter radian and what we have got is uh, 0.257 meter radian. So all the criteria in respect of area are satisfied. Now let us see where the maximum GZ is happening and what is the value. So I suppose the maximum GZ is happening at uh, an angle of say 32 degrees, the maximum GZ and the value at 32 degrees is <coughs> 0 0.38 meter radian. So the maximum GZ, there are two uh, requirements in respect of the uh, writing lever size, one is it should be at least 0 0.20 at an angle 30 degrees or more and second requirement is the maximum writing lever should occur beyond 30 degrees but never less than 25 degrees so both the criteria are satisfied when I say that the maximum writing lever is happening at 32 degrees and the value is 0.38 meter radian so both the criteria in respect of the writing lever are satisfied this way. Now what I do is I put a tangent at origin and I measure at an angle 57.3 you can see that it is way beyond the requirement of 15 centimeter. So uh, the GM, the initial GM that is the metacentric height is much more than 30 centimeters. So this criteria is also satisfied.